Nick Nisbet. I'm from Atascadero, California, here on the Central Coast, and I race my motorcycle professionally as well as uh, sell real estate. Uh, well, I got my first motorcycle when I was seven and uh, begged my uh, parents to let me race. I entered my first race when I was 10, and uh, I think my dad might have been more hooked than I was, but uh, we both loved it so much, and we spent, you know, Wednesdays going to Zaka Station, and, you know, Saturdays out at uh, Moto Club out in Santa Maria, and, um, you know, just kind of rode from there and just climbed the ranks, and, um, yeah, somehow ended up where I'm at today. I was, I was trying and racing really hard when I was 19. Uh, I'm 26 now. Um, but at the time, I was racing the Arena Cross Series um, in, you know, to get my professional license to race Supercross, and that was always the dream. Um, and I had uh, a few injuries and um, just kind of things didn't go my way. Um, you know, funding ran out, and it was time to pretty much get a real job. So I, um, you know, parked the motorcycles and, um, you know, was in search for something. And I always enjoyed, you know, selling things on whether it be Craigslist or eBay or whatever it was. And, um, you know, my dad was a general contractor, so I saw him, you know, build homes. And, um, you know, I thought, well, what, you know, maybe I'll get into, you know, selling real estate. Um, and so I just kind of, you know, went and got my license and, you know, been in it now five years. talking about it a little bit off camera and you know you kind of you need to develop a skill set in order to have a base to kind of pursue other passions um, and that's when I had spoken when I was 19 I went and you know started the real estate thing I, I put all my efforts into that and it took you know two two and a half years to get to a point where I felt comfortable you know um, starting to not necessarily take some time off but be able to um, make my schedule flexible where you know now I can I'll be, you know, in the office in the morning till around 10 and get to the track, do a little bit of riding, you know, get home, try to get some bike work done, um, you know, send some emails off in the afternoon and then, um, you know, spend the rest of the week maybe working, showing homes, real estate, and then try to get maybe one more day of riding in during the week um, before racing on the weekends. The plan is just, uh, you know, I, I didn't expect to be, you know, racing supercrosses even now I'm on my second, this is my first full year doing the West Coast Series um, in the 250 class. And, um, you know, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Um, I love racing dirt bikes and it's a passion for me. And um, so, you know, I'm just gonna, I guess, keep doing it as long as I can, as long as I'm having fun. Um, that's the biggest part of it. You know, it is, it is a lot of work, you know, late nights in the garage and, um, you know, you gotta, you know, have your program dialed, and you know, you gotta have, you gotta be in shape and diet and things like that. So, you know, as long as I'm having fun with it, you know, I'm gonna keep doing it.